Hi there and welcome to High School Sports Zone. We'll take a look at a lot of junior volleyball this week and we'll start things off in the boys tier one division. We have Franco Cite who's gone undefeated so far in the regular season but they've only played four games. That's at least one or two games behind some of the other top teams but with a win over Sir Wilfrid Laurier they would propel themselves into first place in the Eastern Division. Two of the top teams in the Junior Boys Volleyball East Division met on Wednesday as Sir Wilfrid Laurier took on Franco Cite. A serve from Franco Cite's number 10 breaks hands and the score is tied at 13. A block from Sir Wilfrid Laurier's number 7 gives the Lancers a lead, 17 to 16. A serve from Franco Cite's number 11 gives the Falcons the lead, 18 to 17. The Falcons go on to win the first set, 25 to 19. A smash from Franco Cite's number 10 builds on the momentum as they lead 20 to 7. A hard serve from Franco Cite's number 10 aces Sir Wilfred Laurier's defense, 23-7 Falcons. A smash from Franco Cite's number 3 wins the set for the Falcons, 25 to 8. Franco Cite up two to nothing. A smash from Franco Cite's number three extends the Falcons' lead 13 to seven. A tip from Franco Cite's number three makes the score 16 to seven Falcons. A smash from Franco Cite's number 13 puts the set out of reach. Falcons lead 17 seven. A smash from Franco Cite's number 10 gives the Falcons another point on top of their 10-point lead in the last set. Franco Cite goes on to win the last set 25-13. to For High School Sports Zone, I'm Vic Shukla. Samuel Jeunesse was riding a three-game winning streak as they took on Garneau in junior boys volleyball. Sammy G's number 15, Hajar, put the Lasers on top 13-7 after serving the ace. Number 10, Dagger Smash, caught a Garneau player on the way out. Lasers lead 20 to 10. Garneau's number 6, Wilson, serve was too much to handle. Garneau trails 21 to 13. Number 3, King, and number 5, Simba, got up for the block, cutting Garneau's deficit to 5. Murad, Sammy G's number 13, shut down the first set 25 to 19 with a tip. Garneau's number 33, Clement, serve, put Garneau up by 4 in the second set. A quick tip by number 14, Chatelet redirected the ball to tie the game at 22 apiece. Number 3, King, and number 33, Clement, went up for the block on Sammy G, tying the game at 24. Lasers number 8, G. Barber, smash, takes the lead, 25-24 for Sammy G. Dassault, Garneau's number 19, and did the second set 27-25 with a quick play at the net. Number 14, Chatelaine powered down a smash to give the Lasers an 18-12 lead. Garneau staged a comeback as number 6, Wilson Spike, took the lead 20-19. Lasers number 13, Murad, smash could not be returned. Sammy G up 24-22. Garneau's number 3, King, served up the ace, taking the lead 25-24. Number 6, Wilson from Garneau finished with a serve that could not be returned 28-26. Two sets to one for Garneau. Lasers number 13, Murad's tip ended the rally, 14 to five for Sammy G. Number six, Wilson made the block. Garneau trails by eight points. Number two, Tishubanda smash found court on the Garneau side. Lasers lead 22 to 16. Number three, King zoned in on the air ball to cut the Garneau deficit to five. Lasers number eight, Jones, sent his smash to the back row. The Lasers win the fourth set, 25 to 22, pushing to a fifth set. In the final set, number 14, Chatelaine snapped the ball down the line. Lasers trail seven to six. Number three, King's play extends Garneau's lead to nine to seven. Garneau's number six, Wilson, sent his smash cross court, putting Garneau on top, 14 to eight. Garneau went on to win 15 to eight against Samuel Jeunesse, in this five-set junior boys volleyball matchup. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Ashley McDonald. In other junior boys volleyball action, St. Francis Xavier met Longfield's Davidson Heights, and it was LDH's number 11, Matthew Parnanium, with the tip to put the Ravens up 14-8. The Coyotes' number nine, Branham, just hammered the ball to the back row, and St. Effects now trailed 
17-11. The Ravens, number 14, Adams, faked the spike and followed up with a sneaky tip to extend LDH's lead to 19-15. St. FX wasn't able to handle the blast from LDH's number 9, Abraham, and Longfields took the first set, 25-18. Young, number two for Longfield, split the Coyotes' defense with his ace, and LDH led 17-11 in set two. The Coyotes' number 14, Yugi Sioni, spiked it past the diving Raven defender, and St. FX narrowed the deficit 17-15. Longfield's Abraham made a well-placed spike to open court to give the Ravens a comfortable 23-18 lead. Abraham would then close out the set for LDH, with his ace making it 25-18 as the Ravens led two sets to none. In the third set, Burnham, number nine for St. FX, spiked the ball off LDH defenders, but his Coyotes still trailed 15-12. LDH's number 14 Adams made the hard serve that St. Francis Xavier hit out of bounds, and the Ravens were up 20-15. Damian Akis, LDH's number four, made the back row spike that couldn't be returned, and the Ravens took the third set. 25-16, and Longfields defeated St. Francis Xavier in straight sets. Cree and Wilson hope to stay near the top of the Junior Boys Volleyball East Division when they visited Colonel By. Cree and Wilson's number six Watson beat the block, Wildcats trail by one. Number 10 Kudmar of the Wildcats made the tip in the middle to put Cree and Wilson on top 23-22. Colonel Bai's number eight shoe yard smash was sent out by a wildcat block. Cougars take the 24-23 lead. Number eight shoe yard was back at it to take the first set 26-24 for the Cougars. Crean Wilson's number six Watson and number 11 Den teamed up for the block. Wildcats up 19-13. Number 15 Frank Coors smash was untouchable, extending Crean Wilson's lead to 21-17. Cougars number seven, Chen Smash went off a wildcat and out. Colonel Bai trails by three. Number nine, Persaud bounced the ball off the net to open court. Cougars trail 23-21. Kareen Wilson's number 12, Coggle Smash caught a Cougars fingertips on the way out, giving the Wildcats the second set, 25-21. Chen sent the ball from the back row for the Cougars. They trail the Wildcats 17-14. Number seven, Stevenson showed off his serving capabilities with an ace. Wildcats up, 1914. Stevenson was back at it, this time with a lightning fast smash, putting Kareen Wilson on top by eight. Number 15, Frank Hoor took credit for the smash that caught a Cougar player on the way out, 24-17 for the Wildcats. Kudmar, number 10 for Kareen Wilson, took set point when his smash was deflected out by the Cougars block. Wildcats lead two sets to one after the 25 to 22 third set win. In the fourth set, Wildcats number seven Stevenson put an end to the Cougars serving streak with a block. Wildcats trail 13-5. Number eight Shuyard serve caught the net just right for the drop, giving the Cougars the 10 point lead. Chen, Colonel Bai's number seven, took the Cougars to a 20 to nine lead after his smash. Number 15, Hurrath, pushed to a fifth set after he closed the fourth set 25-14 for the Cougars. In the fifth and final set, Colonel Bai's number eight, Shuyard, served the ace. Cougars trail 12-11. Gion, Colonel Bai's number three, Smash, takes the 13-12 lead for the Cougars. The Colonel Bai Cougars turn things around in the fifth set to come back and win 15-13 over the Kareen Wilson Wildcats in junior boys volleyball. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Ashley McDonald. We've got more volleyball highlights for you after the break, including a battle of unbeatens in the Junior Girls Tier 1 division.